So we're going to be talking about Amazon Prime Video, which is just one of the many video on demand services that are out there. I feel like lots of us are familiar with some. So this is just another option that you can maybe try out if you're interested. So like usual, we're going to start off by explaining what Amazon Prime actually is. So Prime Video, which is also called Amazon Prime Video, so two names, it's a bit confusing, but they are the same thing, um, is an on-demand video service and it's owned by the company Amazon. Really some things that you get when you subscribe to Amazon Prime includes access to all of the perks of Prime Video. And this of course includes lots of their thousands of Prime Video titles, whether it's TV episodes, movies, and you even have the option to rent or buy them as well, even if they're not included with Prime Video. So you can gain access to even more titles beyond just what Prime allows you to watch. And in addition to that, there are options to subscribe to over 100 premium channels with your Prime Video channels subscriptions. And now we're going to go through some of the advantages and then also, on the other hand, some disadvantages, just so you can get a bit of a more holistic picture of the services that they have. So a few of their benefits include free two-day shipping on millions of items. So this is with Amazon. So if you're ordering something from their website, whether it's homeware, um, clothes, food, even anything you order from Amazon, you also get free two-day shipping. You can get free same day or one day delivery. It depends on where you are and the locations of their warehouses, but typically it is possible in select cities to get a product that you order the day of. And then in terms of the streaming that they offer, you get unlimited streaming of movies and TV episodes that they have on their platform. In addition, you also have the option to rent or buy movies and TV episodes that are not included with your subscription, and they are not offered with Hulu or Netflix. So they may just be available on Amazon Prime with a cost of renting or buying them. You can also subscribe to TV channels, including BBC Earth, Nickelodeon, Stack TV, and even more for approximately $4.99 to $14.99 dollars per month, just depending on which channel you're interested in subscribing to. So just a few last additional advantages. You also get unlimited ad-free music with their music streaming service called Prime Music. So in addition to TV and movies, you can also listen to music if that's something you're interested in. You also get early access to deals and promotions. You can use their photo storage services and get an unlimited amount of storage. And you can also access another live streaming service, or sorry, a live streaming service, which is also watching something, but it's live. So rather than watching a TV show or movie that's already recorded, you can access Twitch Prime. But of course, with advantages, there are also some disadvantages as well. So if you only are using it a handful of times per month, then it may not be as useful for you. I personally find it really helpful because the TV show that I enjoy watching is on it. So I'll be watching it every day or every few days. So I really get a lot of use out of the subscription. Also, Prime Video, similar to many on-demand video services, does not have every single movie or TV show that you may be wanting to watch. So that's why sometimes you may have to subscribe to multiple because not all of the streaming services will have every show. So you may have to pick and choose based on what you're most interested in watching. Also, certain titles are subject to geographic availability. So depending on where you are in the world and even in a given country, there may be different shows and TV shows available or unavailable. And also some titles are available, but you have to pay an additional fee, whether it's renting or buying it, because it's not included in the Prime Video subscription. 
So now that we've gone over what Prime Video is, we're going to walk you through how to actually create an account so you can start watching if that's something you're interested in. The first step is to go to www.primevideo.com and click on start your free 30 day trial. And then from there, you want to log into your Amazon account. And if you do not have an Amazon account, then you just have to click on create an account, enter your name, email, and a password, and you'll be all set to go. You'll just have to go into your email and click on the confirmation email that they've sent you. And then once you've entered the confirmation code that it will send to you, your account will be activated. So really simple, just a few steps. Um, just make sure you're going to the website. We can also put it in the chat for you as well if you want to take a look, but you would just search up www.primevideo.com into your web browser. And here on the left, we've got a handy screenshot showing what it will look like when you're creating a, an account. So again, you would just put in your name, email address, and then you can create a password. So then because you are going to be subscribing to Amazon Prime Video, you will have to input a few extra account details. So that includes your email, which you've done when you created your account. And this is just all gonna help you to confirm your details to start that free trial, which I think is great because they have a 30 day free trial. So you can really have some time to see if you like it. You'll also have to put in a payment method so that when the free trial is over, you'll be able to then continue watching, but you will have to pay. And also a billing address to go with that payment. And in terms of price point, you will be charged $7.99 per month if you're working in Canadian dollars or $12.99 if you're in the US, um, plus additional taxes. And one tip that we would like to share is that you can cancel before the end of the free trial and then continue to use the service until the end of your trial period. So when you begin the trial period, it's going to ask for your payment information so that it could then automatically move to the paid plan. But if you're not interested in that and you just want to use it for the 30 days, which lots of people like to do, then you can just cancel it and you won't be charged anything once those 30 days have passed. Now we're gonna go over how to actually use Prime Video. And there are a different kind of function, a few different functionalities, but mainly you're gonna see a home screen and you're gonna see lots of TV shows and movies sorted into different categories. And you may be able to see some similarities between Prime Video and say Netflix. You can search things up. You can go to kids, you can look at family movies, etc. So it is quite similar to lots of different streaming platforms, which makes it easier to use. So as I mentioned, you can browse different categories and also search specific items by using the search bar. And you can use that function by going to find with the hourglass icon in the bottom left hand corner. You can also look through content that is labeled included with Prime or just look for the Prime logo. So then you know that you get to stream it for free with the Prime membership rather than buying or renting movies not included in the membership. And if a movie is not included, it's going to prompt you. You may also see a small shopping bag icon on it. It should be orange or yellow in color. So then you'll know that you have to pay an additional fee. It won't just charge you without your permission. And something that's also great about Prime Video is that you can download content so that you can watch any TV show or movie when you're disconnected from Wi-Fi. So if you're going on a trip, if you're going on an airplane, you can watch it offline. And if you look to the right of the screen, you can see a few arrows pointing to different functions that I've just described. So you can see kind of a visual version. You can browse different categories, again, by going to browse or looking at shows, movies, kids, whatever you're looking for. You can locate any of your purchases and your subscription plan by going to my stuff. So that's kind of your account details. Your downloads will be founded in download section, and then you can also search for specific titles using find. 
And that was a screenshot from a phone. So now if you look at a computer, it looks a bit different. The dimensions are slightly larger because of the larger screen, but you can still do many of the exact same things. You can browse by content to rent or buy. You can look through different categories. You can find various channels if you want to subscribe to a specific channel. You can look through your purchases and downloads. And then there's also a search bar again for specific items. And similarly, you can go to your person icon here to go into your account and look at any of the information relating to your personal details. So I have mentioned a few times renting or buying content. So we're gonna go over that in a little bit more detail just so we can have a better grasp of it and you can really see what Prime Video has to offer. So again, not all content on Prime Video is free even though you're paying for your Prime account because they don't have every single title as something that they offer to its subscribers. It's just something that they will offer with an additional fee. In terms of price, paid movie rentals start at $2.99 each and TV episodes are sold individually or you can also have a TV seasons pass and get access to each new episode the day after it airs. So it kind of gives you special access in that way. You have access to any of your rental videos 30 days from your payment of the rental fee. But after you click play or you start actually watching the TV show or movie, you have unlimited access to it for 48 hours. So within a 48 hour window from starting the movie, you have to finish it or it's not going to be available to you anymore. Um, but if you don't start it at all, then you will have 30 days. So if you're not totally sure if you have the time or you're interested in watching it yet, maybe just hold off until you're ready because it will expire after 48 hours. And now we're going to talk about some of the differences between using Prime Video on different devices. So there is a website that you can go on a laptop or a desktop. You would just search up www.primevideo. But there is also an app available, available for iOS and Android phones. And it's also compatible with Fire TV, Smart TV, gaming consoles, and tablets. So not only can you have it on your phone, you can also get it on your TV as well. To download it on a phone or tablet, you want to locate Prime Video in the App Store or Google Play Store. And then you just need to sign in with your details and you can begin watching whatever you're interested in. To download it onto your TV, open the app and register on your TV to your Prime Video account using a code provided. So it's a bit different getting on it onto the TV, and I would definitely recommend setting, on, setting up a one-on-one -on -one session with one of our volunteers if you're having some trouble, because I know I definitely had a hard time doing it and I got someone in my family to help me. Um, but it's also, once you sign in, you're able to watch it on a bigger screen on your TV. And one of the features that's really great about Amazon Prime is that you can watch offline. So you can download movies and TV shows for offline viewing. And to do this, you just wanna search up the movie or episode and then click download. After you can go into the download section at the bottom of your screen to access and watch any of your downloads. So the first step would be to go into the movie or TV show that you're interested in downloading click on the download button. So you can see here, it'll be an arrow pointing into an open box. And then you can choose a different download option based on the amount of space and quality you want it to take up. And then you can also delete the download once you've watched it, or if you're not interested in watching it anymore, just to free up some space and make other downloads quicker. And some of the movie and TV selection that you may be interested in watching includes Marvelous Miss Maisel, Good Omens, Carnival Row, The Wheel of Time, I Care A Lot, The Boys, The Underground Railroad, Borat, and Judy Justice. But these are just a few of the many, many options that there are. There are lots of great TV shows that they have. 
Um, so I definitely encourage you to take a look if you're interested in finding a new streaming service or watching something new. And if you would like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to our website or call the phone number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We do also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays, and everybody is more than welcome to join in.